Dream a little dream of me. Welcome Kinders, it's Jessica the Story Witch and I've got a witch casket unboxing to do. This is going to be one of my last witch caskets because I'm going to be having a depth year in 2019 which means I'm not going to be bringing in extra new things to work with. I'm going to be diving deeper into the things that I already have and working with those. I'm a little bit concerned about this witch casket because it's making a jingly noise. It smells really strong. I'm hoping that it is just because there's some kind of bell-like aspect inside here and not because something is broken. So, let's have a look. Okay, so, let's have a look. What is our theme? So, it's white, white tissue paper. It smells so strong. I hope there's not like a little bottle of something that's smashed inside here that had some, some oil or something in it. November's is our 24th witch casket. It's hard to believe the witch casket is two years old this month. What an amazing and magical journey it's been so far and we are so grateful to you all for being part of it. November's casket celebrates the, the witch's magical space and we hope the contents help to make your spaces even more perfect than they already are. Uh, please remember to read the encloses of content and it says sharing about your... Uh, share about your box on social media and so there's the list of contents but I'm not going to read it I'm going to just open things up and see what is inside so we've got a an art print here which is very pretty it's the mouse again which has been in a couple of the other boxes kind of surrounded by amethyst crystals and I've started you might be able to see them just in the very very background of the video uh how can I point kind of there, <laughs> above my sofa on the other side of the room. I am going to do a little like room tour because a few people have asking, been asking me to do that video and probably like a bookshelf tour video soon. So I'll show you those little cards and I'll probably be adding that one on here. And there's also gorgeous, a square print from TK Cart, which actually I might frame that one up because that is really beautiful. I love the way it's got like the moon inside the crystal ball. And a couple of other orbs as well. Gorgeous. So, I haven't found anything broken yet. Oh, and what I have found is a bell. <laughs> so, phew, hopefully that is what it was that is jingling. And so it's not anything to be concerned about. So, that's really cute. I do actually have a little bell that I keep on my ancestor altar. But this will be nice to have as well because you know they're nice to have they're useful little things for well for all sorts of things for cleansing summoning things like that and we've got witch casket essentials bay leaves and so we've got a packet of bay leaves and I'm so happy to feel that these are now papery and they feel like they probably could be recycled or composted because that was one of my concerns with this this box which I love and I will I am going to miss it next year and I most probably will resubscribe in 2020 or maybe even before that in 2019 if I feel like I've used the things that I've already received. If you haven't seen my depth year video yet, I should hopefully put it up before I put this one up, <laughs> otherwise this makes no sense. Uh, then basically it's about, like I said, diving into the things you've already got and not bringing more new things in uh, and kind of getting distracted with those new things, you know. So. Yes, there's a black candle spell. Uh, so there's the little, and that's not the thing that's smelling really strong. It does smell nice, but it's not the really strong smelling thing that's in here. So black candle spell. Repelling um, negativity from your altar or sacred space, light the black candle and repeat the following. Any negative force now returns to its source. Evil energy now must flee. As I will it, so mote it be. Allow the candle to burn as you imagine a bright light entering your space and clearing out all darkness and negativity. Feel safe and peace in your space. So that's a cute little simple thing. There's purple banded agate, which they say is a great stone for meditation. The little card inside as well. I mean... Hold that up. So there's a little kind of info card which every box has got. Can I? Mm, it's backwards. Every box has got these crystals in them, and it always comes with a look of that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I 
yeah that's really pretty so yeah every box comes with a crystal and a little info card about them so that's kind of sweet and also you get a tea in every box and this one is berry berry tea which is elderberries currants hibiscus and it tells you about stevia so they've actually sort of upgraded this packaging a little bit because before it would just tell you what the name of it was and not necessarily give you the full breakdown on the actual packet of tea so that's really cute as well berry berry tea I don't know which one to pick up next. There's a charm key ring. Oh, well, I can't open that for some reason. Is that not it? I don't think so. No, it's just a bit stiff. Let's see if I can hold that up. A charm key ring. What's this? Oh, it's just got like the little symbol. Live a charmed life. It says on the back of it. <laughs> Uh, this discreet keyring can be used in the exact same way as a charm bag. You can place herbs, small crystals and amulets inside to create your own charm to carry with you. That's a really cute idea, isn't it? You can use objects for protection, wealth, love, healing, whatever it is you need right now. Include objects, blends which work for your chosen purpose. So that's nice and I love that they've kind of left it open-ended so you can, you know, you could use it for whatever you like. And obviously, depending on what you put in here, but you would be able to use it more than once as well because it is like a container so once your intended purpose or you know you can refresh it if it was protection perhaps you just want to refresh it and protection would be a good thing for a charm because you could be carrying it around with you so it's not this i can smell either there's lavender there's 15 lavender incense cones but it's not lavender that's the scent that i can smell in here i don't think so i don't know whether there's something else at the bottom that is going to be uh, in there too. So that's always handy to have a top up on the incense cones. Hmm. Well, perhaps they've just put oil in these boxes, perhaps some protective oil in there because there's nothing that I can find that has seeped out. But everything smells of <laughs> this scent. So what is that? I don't know. Maybe it'll say on the info. I'm going to open this scroll really carefully. That's what I'm doing here now. I'm trying to open it carefully anyway without mutilating it. Sometimes these are like keepsakes. Oh, okay, so this is just kind of an info one about your altar or sacred space. And it says, whichever book you read or whatever information you will find during your reset, research, you will read conflicting views on how your altar should look what should be included and even how it should be arranged. The reality is that the altar is simply a focal point of your sacred space and a place to keep whichever tools you need for your magical workings. Therefore, some people's altars may contain nothing but candles, since some witches prefer to work solely with candle magic. Others will have herb blends and incenses, chalices, athames, cauldrons, offering bowls, statues, the list is endless. The most important thing is to create a peaceful space where you have everything you need to hand and can feel completely relaxed. While you work your magic, meditate, pray, etc. Our spaces are and should be as individual as we are, so use your instinct and create yourself a tranquil space that is truly unique and magical. Something completely you and it will be perfect. And I am wholeheartedly endorsing that statement because I feel exactly the same way. When, you know... It, it's a tricky, I suppose, because like in some traditions, there is a particular way that you should set up and there are certain tools that you should have on your altar. But if you are not following a specific tradition, then you are free to do what you want. <laughs> and also, like, I feel like there's there's not an, em an emphasis on it being a working space as well. Like, you do need space to work on a working space. So, you know, if it's all full up with all these gorgeous, beautiful goodies, then... Where you're supposed to do your stuff. So I pop that on the bell. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It's like a witch casket kind of little mini box. Almost looks like a kind of CD case. Is this where the smell is coming from? Ooh, looks like there's going to be some sort of altar cloth. Do you know what? Is it this? The smell or is this just being kind of infused with the smell? Oh, wow. Look at this. How beautiful is that? That would make a really nice reading cloth actually as well. But it's that kind of protective element. It's got all the pentagrams on there. 
that's really beautiful really lovely I like the symbolism of that it's almost like a kind of sun symbolism in the center as well yeah that's really well it's this it's kind of a mandala -y sun type image in the center which is really lovely nice I am going to be sad about not having this box anymore and there's a little pin badge like there usually is let me show you that a bit closer up it last month it was a little cauldron and this month it's a little crystal ball <laughs> that's seriously cute isn't it and I love it because I do like to wear a lot of cardigans and stuff as well so like these are really cute just for kind of jazzing up jazzing up your cardi well, it looks like a little amethyst pendant as well, which also could easily be used as a pendulum. That's really pretty. And that also smells of this scent that is not in the box. <laughs> is in the box, but is not in the box. So, ah, oh, that is really lovely as well. Let's have a little look at the contents just to make sure what is what? So we've got an altar bell, an altar cloth, a charm keyring with infill card, magical spaces parchment scroll, crystal ball enamel pin, black candle with spell card, bay leaves with infill card. I didn't read the infill card actually, but there's going to be an infill card in here with the bay leaves. Uh, and that I love using bay leaves. I also use them quite a lot in circle with uh, when I'm circling with other people because I find it a very they, they, it's e easy to use energy, you know, so so that's cool. And a helpful energy for most people. Uh, amethyst pendant, purple banded agate and info card, lavender incense cones, berry berry loose leaf tea, which is by Tea Cakes of Yorkshire, which is where all the tea is from. Square art print by Tea Cake Art. And then the other art print, I didn't actually say who that was by, is by Elinica Mitchell Art. And I know she's been providing art in these caskets. A couple of times now so so that's cool as well and it's just got the kind of contact information and everything on there so that's a really lovely box and I am going to be sad to not be I've still got one left <laughs> I'm still gonna be in for December's box and then I'm gonna pause my subscription until next year or like I said perhaps until I feel like I need some more supplies and it'd be nice to kind of bring some new things in because it's fitting in with what I'm working with that year you know that's the only thing with it being a subscription box and not knowing what you're going to get is that I can't I can't definitely know for sure that it's going to be something that I'm going to be used and that I'm going to be working with with the things I am going deep with in this depth here this year so so yeah I don't know if I can justify it really which is a bit sad, but I'll, I'll think about it and see if I, there's a way around it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Warmest, warmest blessings. I will see you very soon.